Hey guys, some people have asked me how I did the skit from the Devil Grow from Mars video. So I wanted to do a little video just to show all of you who are interested how I did that. Okay, so let's take a look at the clip that we're gonna be using here. This is when Naya first appears at the inn. Who are you? My name is Naya. Where do you come from? Mars. Okay, so that's pretty good. The only problem is that when they ask her where she's from, she says Mars, but that's actually off screen. I wanna go from her to the next shot with me behind the bar, but they don't cut back to her when she says Mars. It just stays on them, and it would look kind of stupid if suddenly I just teleported behind the bar like that. So we have to cut back to her somehow, even though the movie doesn't. So she says Mars off screen. I'm actually going to make her say Mars on screen. So how do I do that? Well, let's look at the original clip. So if we look back to the shot of her when she says, my name is Naya. My name is Naya. Right there at the end, Naya. That might look like Mars if it's a quick shot, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where they ask her. And we're going to do a cut. And we're just going to cut this out when she says Mars. I'm going to unlink the audio track. And then when she says my name is Naya, I'm going to cut that. Copy that. Paste it. Separate the audio. Delete that. And I don't need this extra here. I just need her saying Mars. And when we cut right back, we're going to be cutting to the skit. So this is the still frame from the movie that I'll be using. I'm going to try and replicate the lighting and wardrobe the best that I can. For the bar, I looked at how high the bar was on Michael here and used that to try and find something that would be a similar height that I could stand behind. So I took a chair and then set up another small table on top of it and then I covered that in green screen. And then I use a monitor as well as the still frame on my phone as a reference to try and get the positioning right. My studio space isn't very big, it's a 12 by 10 foot room. So that can be challenging for a few reasons. It can make it really difficult to try and replicate the lighting of the scene. And it also means that I have to use wider lenses. So the focal length is usually different than what was used for the shot in the actual movie. This was noticeable in the skit that I did for my video on Die Monster Die. I was shooting with a wide lens that was also angled slightly downwards in order to get all of me in the shot. So my feet end up looking really long. Figuring out the lighting is a process of checking the still frame, then adjusting the lights, then checking to see how it looks on me in comparison. And for this skit, it actually took a really long time before I was happy with it. Then it's a matter of trying on different clothing to try and match the original, which is usually impossible, but I try my best. Mike was wearing what looks like a tweed jacket here. I don't have a tweed jacket, but I do have a few different jackets that I tried, and then it was a matter of just matching the tie. Again, I don't have the same tie as him, so I tried a few different ones and eventually just went for a black tie. All of this took around three hours, and that's just shooting the skit. So let's get into how I edited this all together. In order to paint Mike out of the shot, I have to create what would be the background behind him. Now, there aren't really any empty shots of the bar in this movie, unfortunately, but there are a couple of shots of the bar from different angles that I can use to kind of piece it together. Now, I'm not very good at Photoshop, but I can usually make it so that the background is at least passable. This background is a little bit more difficult because of all the bottles back here, but let's just see what we can do. So now we have the background and it's not perfect, but I think it's gonna be okay considering that I'm gonna be standing in front of most of it. I'm gonna take that background and duplicate it in the timeline and put one on top of the other. The top one is going to be the foreground. So I'm gonna take draw mask and I'm gonna click and drag that onto the clip. And with that, I'm gonna draw a mask all around Doris and her arm since I'm going to be behind her. 
So now I'm going to take the clip of me, and for the time being, I'm just going to put it on top of all the other clips while I make some adjustments to it. I'm going to mask out this light stand here, and then I'm going to take the keyer and key out all the green screen. Then I'm going to adjust the size and positioning. Might have to just slightly rotate it a bit just to make sure it fits right. And I think that position looks pretty good, but my arm is covering this glass, so I have to go back and add that glass to the foreground. I'm also going to take the clip of me and put it underneath the foreground clip. Now I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to my footage, just to try and make it blend in a bit more with the footage from the movie. Then I'm going to adjust the color since the film footage is much warmer than mine. Now one thing I noticed in the original shot is there's a light aiming down at the bar since in the original footage their hands are really hot so I'm going to go into the exposure tab and add a shape mask and I'm going to adjust the shape mask so that it just covers my hands and then inside of the shape mask I'm going to adjust the exposure and really bump up the highlights a lot then I'm gonna play around with the exposure for what's outside of the shape mask which is the rest of me and I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to matching the shadows and the highlights of the film footage I'm trying to mimic the original cinematography uh, it's impossible to make it perfect but let's just see how close we can get Okay, so here's one more detail that I wanted to add. So in the original clip, there is some music playing in the background, but during the skit, there is no music, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the original scene and I'm gonna look at the audio and see if there's a second, you know, maybe two possibly, where there is no dialogue and it's just the music in the background and then I can loop that. So I think this sounds best right about here. So we're just gonna cut that and separate the audio. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna copy it, paste it, and then I'm going to reverse this clip. And that way it doesn't sound so choppy. And then we just copy this and then paste it. A bunch of times. Doesn't sound perfect, but it's just enough. We're gonna compound that clip. And then we're just gonna take that. And we'll just lay it under the skit while I'm talking. And then I'm actually gonna to have to adjust the color again just to warm it up. And after that, I think we're pretty much done. So let's take a look at the final skit. Who are you? My name is Naya. Where do you come from? Mars. Oh my god, are you serious? Really? Mars? That is unbelievable! The fact that people from Mars actually call it Mars! What are the chances of that? We totally guessed the name of that planet dead on! Bullseye! Wait, what do you call our planet? You men on Earth are much as we expected. Holy crap, that's what we call it. I can't believe this is happening right now. Doris, are you listening to this? Doris, hello? You're missing it, Doris. Man, she is really out of it. I'm a little concerned. But let's try one more. What do you call the sun? Oh, no, wait, forget I said that. What do you call the giant flaming ball of gas? And I'm not talking about Arnold. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that went into making this skit. Obviously doing these takes a lot of time, but I actually really enjoy it. So I'll be back in the new year with brand new episodes of Weird Movies with Mark. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time.